Hi, pals. Coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, an actor mistakenly finds himself between the Vice team and a dangerous drug dealer in the episode Everybody's in Showbiz. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering the large gap when this episode of Miami Vice aired from April 6th to May 3rd, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on April 24th, a fatal accident at the construction site of the Le Ambiance Plaza apartment building in Bridgeport, Connecticut, would cause the building to collapse and kill 28 construction workers. The 13-story building suffered a total collapse during its construction, leaving nothing but a pile of rubble and the loss of 28 workers. In sports, on April 6th, in a giant boxing upset, Sugar Ray Leonard wins by split decision over the heavily favorited Marvin Hagler in one of the greatest boxing matches of the 80s. Ultimately, the speed of Leonard overshadowed the power of Hagler in the controversial decision. The Grammy Award-winning song, I Knew You Were Waiting For Me, pushes Starship into the corner and will hold the top spot for two weeks. This amazing song is sung by the most amazing duet, with the one and only Aretha Franklin and the singer that defined the 80s, George Michael. The single was a one-off project for both superstars and was Franklin's 17th top 10 song and Michael's fourth number one. In movies, the entire month between episodes of Miami Vice, the box office was dominated by the Michael J. Fox comedy, The Secret of My Success. The film follows Brantley Foster, played by Fox, as he moves from his home in Kansas to New York City and struggles to fit in in the fast-paced business world. Directed by Herbert Ross, the film would spend five weeks at the top of the box office. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, go with the heat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at go with the heat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.